Well, hello, Pisces. How are you, my beautiful people? Welcome, welcome. This is your mid-month bonus reading with me, Julie Paul. Hello, welcome or welcome back. All right, this is good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross-watching. Okie dokie. It's for the next two weeks or so until I'm back with your June readings, all right? Just to tide you over. All right, so we are going to be using the Animal Oracle today um, in order to give us your themes for the month, okay? This is the Animal Oracle. This is the Australian Animal Oracle, okay? What's the theme for my Pisces, please, for mid-May? The energy has shifted. You will be so glad to hear that, won't you? It has shifted now. Okay. Spirit has your back, Eagle Spirit. Tell me more for Pisces. You're going through this big transformation, this big shift. Hummingbird, be here now. Okay, being present in the now. And starfish, be open to infinite possibilities. Okay, what's the animal, Australian? N no. I was like, do you want them? They're like, no. Okay, Australian animal oracle. What do we have for Pisces, please? For mid-May, that one. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see what we have. Cricket, oh, abundance. Well, don't we just love us a bit of abundance? Yeah, all righty, very nice indeed. Okay, this is the Tarot of Dreams. We want that one. We are two. Okay, Page of Wands with the Three of Cups. Center of your reading, Temperance. You're coming into balance, my lovely people. After what's been a bit rocky, isn't it? Yeah, Three of Coins, one more. Okay, and the two of ones, you're ready. Oh, nice. Okay, we're going to use the Rider weight. Tell me more for my Pisces, please. Interesting stuff going on here for you. Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands. Tidy up, okay. Now shuffle again. What do we have with Temperance, please? What do we have with Temperance? Four of coins, the empress, and the seven of wands. Okay, let's get you an affirmation card. These are mine from hoping to have in. What's the most appropriate affirmation for Pisces, please? For mid-May. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right. Remember. I am open to my innate inner knowing and intuition. I listen to my inner guidance and follow it. I listen to my intuition and trust it. Mm. All right, so you've got a loud voice going on inside you saying, Pisces, you need to pay attention. What are we doing here? Okay, so let's have a look at the overall energy. So we've got abundance here and we've got the Empress, which is also abundance. So we've got a double message of abundance. We have only got the, well, the Temperance here and the Empress here. So two major Arcana cards, but the Temperance is right in the center of your reading, which means it's really significant. So let's start there. So what's Temperance all about? healing, balancing, moderation, bringing everything into a nice equilibrium, because to be fair, it's been like this, hasn't it? It's been hugely up and down. It's been challenging. We've been purging, clearing, cleansing. We've been reassessing, rebooting, all of that. And it takes a lot of work. So let's just pause for a minute and say, pat on the back. Well done me. Okay, Pisces, well done you. All right. And now, as we come into the middle of May, it is time to bring everything back into balance. So who am I now after all that purging? Who am I now after I've done my reassessing? What do I want now? What do I want going forward? What's important for me? Mm, those are the questions to be asking yourself and then to be bringing them into balance now, it's rooted down with the Four of Coins, which is a card of money, foundations, 
and security. And it can be a little bit like holding on a bit too tight. All right. Like, is there going to be enough? Is it all right? Am I safe to spend this? Ooh, ooh, kind of hold it back. We don't want that energy because it's fear based and it's lack. We want to say, look, there he is with his four coins and he's got enough. And if he can just trust that spirit has his back and there's more where that came from and relax a little bit, then we get into the flow. All right. When we're holding tight, we're blocking the flow. When we just allow, and I'm not saying be stupid with your money, and it's not just money, it's about that security, but it's saying, can I step into the trust? Can I trust myself? Can I trust the universe? Can I just let go a little bit? Because as I let go, my arms open. Yeah, when I'm like this holding my coins, if the universe throws some more coins at me, I haven't got any arms to catch them. So I'm going to open up a little bit. I'm going to put my coins down and kind of go like this and get into the energy of receiving. And then more comes. And this is the balancing and healing that we are achieving here in terms of that foundation. And in terms of just feeling safe and secure. That's the central energy. Do I feel safe and secure? Because you've been through it. We all have. Right? It's not been easy for any of us through April and early May. But we're in mid-May now. And towards the end of May, things are really blossoming and opening up. So we want to make sure our own energy is opening up too. Yeah? So open up that energy. So let's start over here. This is how we're coming into the middle of May now. In this energy of spirit has my back, eagle spirit. 23 is a five, all right? So fives are about change. So you're going through and have been going through this big change. And so when we trust that my spirit has my back, the universe, God, source, all that is, has my back and my inner being, my inner knowing, my soul, source, energy within me knows exactly where I'm going. Let's just let go and trust and follow that inner guidance, which is what this is all about. And as he open, they keep saying, be open, be open, be open. So I am open to my innate inner knowing and intuition. I listen to my inner guidance and follow it. I listen to my intuition and trust it. So we've got this strong message of open and trust. And the more that you can get into that energy, and it's not always easy, I know, but the more you can get into it, the better life will flow. So spirit has your back, you're in that trust. Okay, we've got the page of wands, which is bringing you new opportunities and you opening up and trusting those new opportunities. So this could be a new job, doesn't have to be, it's wands, which does represent career, but it could be just a new sense of energy and enthusiasm and passion to join something, to do something, to create something. It's a beautiful energy of doors opening up here to be able to say right I'm going to grab these opportunities I'm going to notice them they're giving me the word serendipity so look at things like coincidences because they're probably not a coincidence they're serendipitous fate destined meant to be but this opportunity is giving us cause here Pisces to celebrate we've got the three of cups so whatever this opportunity is you're going to grab it and you're going to have something to celebrate as a result of it. The Three of Cups is friendships and celebrations and getting together and connections. And it feels really, really good. Now, that Page of Wands moves then to the Knight of Wands. So the opportunities open and then we are taking the inspired action from a place with the Queen of Cups of compassion and emotional maturity and balance. She's very balanced. She she does she's not a drama queen, okay? She is very much in that flow, that water energy like you, in the flow of saying, My emotions are saying this feels good, this feels right, and I'm gonna go with these opportunities and I'm gonna trust that spirit has my back and these opportunities have come in from the universe for me 
to take me to a much more balanced place and I'm going to have something to celebrate here. So I'm going to trust it. Now, I want to be very present in the moment. Be here now. All right. This is all about now, the present. So we want to do this now. Now, this is a similar message I had for Aquarius. It's like, don't put this off. Don't delay. This opportunity might not be there in a few weeks time. Grab it now. Any opportunities that you are creating or that seem to be created for you, that just seem to come, grab them with both hands and say, right, I am open to infinite possibilities. All right. I am unlimited, infinite possibilities. You have this wonderful creative energy of I can be and do anything when I align with it, when I trust it, when I listen to my intuition, when I listen to that guidance, and when I open myself up to help and support from others. Because we've got the three of coins here, which is the teamwork, collaboration, you know, leaning on other people, two heads are better than one. We've got two threes, okay, the three of cups and the three of coins. So the three of cups is about your friends and having a good time. And this is about working with people all right this is play this is work but as we work with those people then we start to really step into this empress energy of abundance and beauty and flow and we love her especially this time of year mid-may is taurus season only just we've got another week but you know this is for the next two weeks but this energy this empress energy is venus venus led and this venus is in taurus at the moment and it's all about that foundation and getting it nice and solid and we've got the double message with the cricket here as well with abundance so you are in this energy of abundance, of creating a beautiful, abundant life. Now, abundance can be money. Of course it can. But it's not just money. It's abundance of fulfillment, harmony, balance, healing, feeling really healthy, feeling abundant within yourself, within your friendships, within your workplace. All right? When we work with others... We can create so much more. You know, I've been doing some interviews with other shows and podcasts and radio stations, and I love it. It grows me and it grows my work. It grows my exposure. It helps me to learn too because I'm learning from them. It's, it's when we can work with others like that. It really helps us. So it can help your career to work with other people. But it doesn't just have to be about career. All right, lots of you don't work or retired and don't want to work. And that's fine. It's not just about career. Although I will link your career reading up here at the end. So, you know, if you haven't seen that. But this is about how can I work with others to increase my abundance? So this might be, they're giving me the example of joining a gardening club. Um or a litter picking group, or a beach cleaning group. That's work. You're working on cleaning up the beach, or cleaning up the rivers, or picking up the litter, or whatever, but you're in a team, and, and you're enjoying it, and you're with other people, and it's fulfilling, and it's enriching. It can be joining a, a hobby, a sport, something that you're interested in. Um, <clears throat> now, those of you this can also be, all right, they're just giving me so many different examples. Let's say you have a home you want to sell. This will be working with your realtor. If you want to get a divorce, this is you working with your lawyer. Um, if you, you know, what it's, it's all about who can I reach out to, to increase this abundance, to increase my fulfillment, my enrichment, to make my life fuller. All right. Not necessarily just monetarily, but fuller in terms of does it fill your heart? And that's where it starts, isn't it? When the heart is full, this is the law of attraction. The more my heart is full, the more good stuff comes to me because I'm vibrating on that resonance, on that on that energy of a filled, fulfilled, contented heart. Then I have more things to be content about. So we're in this energy of abundance and we're going to embrace it and we're going to work with it and we're going to encourage other people to come into our little world here to help us to do that. As we do that, doors begin 
to open. Right, the two of wands. So this opportunity here with the page is leading you to this new door. There was one door at the end of this path, now there are two. It's giving you options. It's giving you choices. This is the world opening up for you. It's doing it differently, going in a different direction, trying something new and saying, Do you know what, this feels good. I'm going for it. But I will need to kind of hold my ground. We've got the seven of wands underneath, which for me is the boundaries card. It's the courage of your convictions. It's standing in your power and saying, this is what feels right for me and I'm not backing down. And even though I might be nervous because I'm starting something new and I'm going in a different direction, it feels right and I'm going to listen to my innate knowing and my intuition and trust it. And if other people, because that's what this represents, other people trying to talk you out or something, I'd say, no, what are you doing that for? You know, oh, no, you're all right as you are. Don't make any changes. People get nervous for us. And, you know, they think they're helping. But you stand your ground, Pisces. You stand your ground and you say, this is what's right for me now. And this is what I'm doing. I trust my innate knowing and I'm opening up to new opportunities here. And when that door opens, I'm going to be well ready to walk right through it. So infinite possibilities. Don't limit them in your mind thinking, oh, well, there's, you know, that that home there I'd love to have, but it's impossible. There's that job there. It's impossible. Let go of all of those impossible and be open to the possible, the infinite possibilities. All right, let's get you an angel card. Final message for my Pisces, please, for mid-May. Thank you very much. Liberation. Aquarius had that as well. You see, we're in this energy of freeing ourselves from the chains that bind us, which generally is our limited thinking, our blocks, our barriers. And we've been working through them over the last few months. We've been releasing them. We've been realigning with our abundance. So you are being liberated from that which held you back. And that which holds us back is usually ourselves. But as we've been healing and clearing and rebalancing and rebooting, we are liberated now to be able to create the life that we truly want, to be where we truly want to be within ourselves and within our world. So liberation is the key and to do it now. All right. So, my beautiful Pisces, that's what I have for you for mid-month. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a like, a share, and don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It's free, you know, and it helps my channel to grow and other people to find these videos. And, you know, I read all of your comments and I'm so thankful for them. I don't always reply because it's too many, but I always read them and I heart them. And very rarely do I have to delete anything because most of you are just lovely. But I read those comments, you know, and it's this engaging community that we have is so important and so powerful. And many of you will say this reading really helped me. And that's wonderful. That's why I do them. And I want more people to find them. So when you subscribe, it helps that happen. And when you like, it helps the algorithm to say, oh, people seem to like Julie Paul. Let's show her a bit more. All of that good stuff. So I really appreciate that. And if you don't, that's OK. Just being here is enough. All right, my lovely people, I'll be back in a week or so with your June 2024 readings. Until then, I am wishing you all much love. Take care. Bye-bye.